Hi friends, it's Suzanne here from sunstampin.com. I'm a Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I want to welcome you to my weekly Wild Card Wednesday video on my blog and YouTube channel. The card designs I share today are a little more technique driven, but nothing too complicated. I also sell the products I feature in this video. I hope you enjoy my free video tutorial and would love to see you shop with me. For today's card, I'm using the Beautiful Bobbles stamp set. The Detail Bobbles Thinlet Dies, the Layering Circle Thinlet Dies, and the Tufted Dynamic Embossing Folder. Now this weekend I was producing a couple of online classes and I have produced the Beautiful Bobbles online class. I'll leave a link in the description in case you're interested in registering for this class. Just so you know, I give away a free gift with this class with all my online classes actually. Anyway, I had a couple of extra ideas and I don't necessarily hoard all my ideas for my exclusive customer use. And I'm proving that here by showing you a beautiful design and it's for free for you guys because I love you. <laughs> okay, so I used the embossing folder on the soft sea foam. I'm die cutting three times with that detailed bobble. The circle die I used once or cut out once with the Coastal Cabana cardstock. And now I am sponging on Coastal Cabana on that circle. And you can see I'm just hitting the edge. I want the center to be light. Already it has this dimensional look to it, right? So you don't ink up the middle of that circle. So now I'm just smearing a little bit of my Tombow glue to the back of this, these dies, die cuts I should say. So I'm stacking three together and I want that to be very, very strong. Now, one of my mistakes, my mistake here was that I got a little bit of Tombow glue on that Whisper White card with my fingers here pressing or what have you. I don't know, something went wrong. So when I went to ink up, which I'm doing right now with my soft sea foam, I ended up, it was almost like it resisted the ink. So just be mindful of try not to get glue on the front one <laughs> because as I'm inking up, you might be able to see it in the photo at the end. It wasn't a good inking. It was kind of splotchy. But anyway, that's okay because you're going to do it better than I am, right? So I have inked this guy up with my soft sea foam ink and now I have my black marker and I am coloring everywhere. So when I usually do the three die cut thing, I want to color the edges so that it looks like everything is perfect and you don't see a white core anywhere and it looks like it's all been colored like that. So lovely. That, and I did that with the soft sea foam. I think that's the first time I've used my soft sea foam marker. All right, I put glue on the back of my die cut stack, and now I'm adhering my Coastal Cabana piece. I've just got a little acrylic block. I'm gonna hold it down, give it some pressure. I have, um, this is two and three quarters by four and a quarter inch. Uh, Whisper White Thin. I've stamped Deck the Halls in Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And now I am just um, using my Coastal Cabana marker here for, to draw in the string. And I'm using this right angle ruler. I'm applying Tombow glue to the back of my bobble to which I'm going to adhere to the front of my focal piece. And on the back of my focal piece, I will be applying dimensional adhesive. And then I will be applying that to my tufted uh, dynamic embossed card front folding it up using my bone folder and that is the card for today. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Bye! Hey 
Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the Maple Leaf for my blog or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.